Hi, it's Corrine with a Wild Orchid Crafts design team project and I have a mini album to share with you today. I did not do a start to finish on this because I've been working on this album on and off for a couple of weeks. So I will link in the description box a tutorial of how I make my mini albums. It'll be a little bit different size than the one I'm showing you today, but the concept is the exact same. I also made a box to go with this mini album and I have a tutorial on how to make a chipboard box so I will link that also in the description box if you're interested. I've used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts so I will link every product that I used in the description box as well so I hope you stop by and check them out. So this was a custom order and um, it was for a little girl so again, I made the box out of chipboard. The paper collection is Sandy Line. Really cute paper pack. And I didn't want too much of a baby paper. I wanted more of a little girl paper. So on the front here, I used a silhouette cut that I purchased from the online silhouette store and as you can see it says bless this little child. I used some a magnolia flower, some uh, wild roses, beautiful little sweetheart blossoms. I used some pearl loop trim, some more of those sweetheart blossoms. I used a flat back pearl with a diamond again from Wild Orchid Crafts and this cut out I did about five layers of them so it's thick and then I added some rosette trim around the edge of my box. Here's the inside and here is the box itself. Super sweet. So this album fits perfectly in the box and the album itself is seven and a half by five and a half. I use that gorgeous organza rose trimming on the side. This is ivory. It has like a, a, a baby yellow to it, so it went perfect with this album. On the front, I used a um, scallop oval. I added she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And I did put some transparency over the top of it. I also added some more of these gorgeous flowers and leaves from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's the back. And then I added some pink satin ribbon. So when you open this, this is a heart pocket with the little girl's name. And this is another silhouette cut that I purchased from the silhouette store. When you open it up, it has um, a little place for the mom to add all the little girl's information. On the front here, I put the word blessed. I made a scallop pocket. To the scallop pocket, I added a large tag with a bow and an open rose in the center. Two little journaling cards. So the mom can add pictures to the pockets any pockets in this is a great way to add more photos and then either journaling or photos on the mats. Every pocket has a large pull-out bracket so the mom could add either several smaller photos or like a 5 by 7 photo on both the front and back. I won't pull all these out but all of them have one. Here I did another scallop pocket. I made a large bow with an acrylic flower and a pearl in the center. I made a few tags, mats. I used a Fisker's scallop punch on the top there. So again, photos can be placed on there and in the pocket as well. The lady who ordered this album specifically asked me to include a Mickey and Minnie, so I added the little baby Mickey and Minnie. A photo can be placed on this or maybe just some journaling. I also did a little bottle for some more journaling. On this side I did a um, scallop frame, so a 4x6 photo can be placed on here. I added some Sweetheart Blossoms. On this side I have an open oval frame. It says sparkle and shine. I used some chrysanthemums, a bow, and 
an open rose. I used a little giraffe and I made a little template for the mom to be able to um, use to cut her photo out and place it right inside there. The lady again who ordered this asked me specifically to use this type of paper because the baby uh, had some photos taken in an outfit similar to this so I made sure to incorporate that and I did it on the side here as well use, doing a side belly band with some trim and some flat back pearls another bow and an open rose this paper is embossed so I made a photo mat with that and again photos can slide in here On this side I have another pocket. I just made a straight pocket. I used some of this gorgeous Guy Pure Lace with the flat back pearls, some foundation blooms, and some pearls in the center. I did a large um, Cherish here in pink. And then I also designed this on the Cameo. It says beautiful. So again, the mom can add photos. And that Mickey and Minnie again I made into a large tag. I used a bow with the flat back pearl in a diamond center. And again, I'll have all these products linked in the description box. On this side, I did a vertical pocket. I used some pink chrysanthemums here, some open roses and hip rose buds tucked in the back. I used this flat pearl trim. I love this trim and adorable paper. I made a large tag and look at this little flat back uh, heart. I love those. On the next page, I made a belly band going across the center, added some more of that gorgeous trim and some flower trim from Wild Orchid Crafts in the center. Added a couple ivory open roses and a large mat, again using that same scallop border trim. And here's another little tag that the mom can add a photo or journaling to. I used a flat back pearl flower center. On this side I did another belly band. I used this gorgeous trim with organza flowers in the center and I added a little heart in each one of those. And then a large photo mat that says leave a little sparkle wherever you go. On this side I did a, another diagonal pocket and I added some open roses in the pink. A photo mat with some more roses. Love that paper. On this side, I did a waterfall bracket pocket. I did score it so the mom can fold it up. She can even um, undo this, take it out, add smaller photos or journaling to them and place it back in and a photo at the bottom as well. And on the last page, I did a um, bracket pocket using a Spellbinders die borders one or borders three I believe I did a side pocket here a large photo mat added the word adorable with some flat back pearls and on the last page is a uh, bracket magnetized flip out so the mom can add journaling here or photos as well I added a large bow and a sparkle embellishment in the center And that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions, please let me know. And like I said, I will link everything down in the description box. So I hope you stop by Wild Orchid Crafts and check out all their gorgeous products. Thanks for watching.